Hey everyone, I'm Uwa. I'm a second year medical student at the University of Nottingham. If you're new here, hi, it'd be great for you to stick around. Please hit that subscribe button um, and also leave a like on the video if you enjoy it. And also for any return subscribers, thank you once again for coming back. I really appreciate your support. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the best techniques to help you answer interview questions. And this video is brought to you in collaboration with Medify, which is an absolutely amazing resource to help you with your med school and your dentistry school applications. So Medify covers pretty much every aspect of the application process. But in particular, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the interview course, which they offer, and how you can use that to help you get interview ready and to secure that all important place at med school. This interview course is for pretty much any stage that you're at in your application process. So by that, I mean whether you're going straight from school or college, or you're going to apply post-grad, or you're taking a gap year, wherever you are in your application stage. The interview course that Medify offers is perfect fit for any aspiring medical student. Enough said, let's go with the video. Sorry, one more thing. I'll leave a link to Medify in the description and you can head over there and purchase your subscription for the medicine interview course. Okay, now let's go with the video. Okay, so first up, why are medical school interviews important? Why should you bother spending all this time planning and preparing for it? In a nutshell, the medical interview is your chance to showcase the interviewers and the admission tutors your personalities that are aligned with that of a doctor. So it really is the perfect opportunity to show that med school that you're a perfect fit for them and an ideal candidate for their med school. So here's a brief overview of the Medify interview course. So it looks at five key areas. First of all, what the interviewers are looking for, the kinds of questions that the interviewers ask, how you should prepare for your interviews. It gives you information to boost your knowledge of commonly tested topics and also how to form reflective answers to those testing questions. As well as helping you to get interview ready, there are so many other perks you can benefit from from your Medify interview course subscription. Just to name a few, there are more than 10 insider interviewer tips. There's a medical knowledge word bank with over 80,000 keywords in there. They give you more than 100 must know terms to really impress those interviewers. And then there's also seven model answer frameworks. This video in particular is going to focus on giving you bits of advice to answer those really difficult and quite challenging interview questions effectively. So in your interview, you'll be expected to describe, explain and give examples of situations or experiences which you believe you display your qualities, abilities and interests which best relate to practicing medicine. Being able to give an example when you're able to explain the task at hand and reflect on the outcome shows a good depth of understanding of the situation and also demonstrates what you've learned and how these skills per se may benefit you in the future. So there are three different techniques which Medify cover in their course to help you achieve this. I'm going to quickly just go over them. So first of all, I'm sure you've all heard of it, very likely from GCC English, and that's the P method. When you give a point, you give some evidence or an example, and then you explain that. For your medical school interview, you may often even change that into peer. So you give the point, the evidence, and the example, and then you'll explain it, and then you'll give a reflection. Another one, still as effective, is IPAR. So the I is the introduction, basically a single sentence summarizing the scenario. Where, why, when did this take place? So the P stands for problem. What was the situation they resolved? And what was the issue and who was concerned? Like who was involved in this issue? So A stands for actions. What did you do to resolve this situation? Basically, how did you resolve this? Or what did you do in dealing with this issue? And then finally, R stands for the results, the successful outcome. And it's important that you link this outcome to its relevance in medicine. In reflecting, you want to talk about what what did you learn? How do you feel about this result? And how has this experience influenced you? And in particular, how has it influenced your choice to study medicine? And then finally, another technique is STAR. This is quite a well-known one, standing for situation, task, um, action and results or resolution. S is for situation and here you're going to set the scene. You're going to be using your five W's, who, what, when, where and why. Next is a task, you're going to describe the scene, telling what was the aim or the purpose. And then we have the action that you took, explain how you completed the task or overcame the problem. So what did you do, essentially what steps did you take. And finally your results, share the outcome of the situation. So think about did you achieve your goal, did you get any feedback, what were the consequences of your actions and what did you learn. So in the reflection some key things to consider is why has made you want to study medicine. So also talk about what you've learned through your experience about the healthcare system, a career medicine and being a doctor. And really, really importantly how will these skills you've gained 
make you a better medical student and future doctor. It's not just about talking about the here and now, but talking about how you're gonna continue developing yourself, developing your skills and your attributes to become this amazing future medical student and future doctor. So it's important to bear in mind, although there is a framework with these different techniques, you're not going to be saying to an interviewer, oh, the situation was, or the action I took was. You won't quite do that. You want to discreetly blend the situation, the task, the action, etc., all together. So I'm going to give you an example, tell you how you're going to do this. So I'm going to be answering this as you would during your interview. I was a charity event organiser at my high school. It was my responsibility to plan any charity fundraisers and ensure that the events ran smoothly. I made sure I remained approachable and delegated different tasks to various members of the welfare team in my school. To make sure this was done effectively, I asked my various teammates about their strengths and weaknesses and I allocated the tasks accordingly. We also worked with staff members and younger students. I would adapt my communication skills to make sure that it was appropriate for whoever I was conversing with. For example, I'd often use visual cues when explaining difficult concepts to younger students to make sure they understood it well. My peers and my teachers would often commend me for this. When my time as charity event organiser came to an end, we had raised £3,500 for all the charities that we were supporting and this was the highest that we'd ever raised in a single year. In my role, I developed my approach to making decisions under pressure and learn how to better communicate with a variety of different people. Having carried out various work experiences, I better understand the crucial role of a leader in a team of various healthcare workers and medical professionals. I look forward to continuing to build upon the skills I have learned and developing new ones in my medical training at your university. I'm not gonna lie, I was actually really nervous answering that. <laughs> Anyway, that's the end of the video. I remember you'll find lots more tips and advice that we get ready for your medical school interviews over at Medify. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can head over and purchase your subscription. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Thank you once again for your support and I will see you in my next video. Bye.